Welcome to a 45 minute boot camp workout. My name is Carly and I'll be your instructor today. Um, you won't need anything other than water and a mat if you have one. All our exercises will be body weight exercises, which is awesome for an at home workout. I know it can be difficult to work out at home, so I'm here to cheer you on and to push you as we work out together today. Um, so as I said, this is a boot camp workout. We'll be working out for 45 minutes today. Um, we will be doing a circuit style workout of 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off of each exercise. We'll be doing about five circuits of three exercises each, and each circuit will be done three times. Which I know sounds like a lot right now, but don't worry, we'll get through it together. So, crank up your favorite playlist and let's get started. So I want you to start just with a side step for our warm up, just to get those muscles moving, the blood flowing. I just got off the couch, so I know for sure I need a good warm up to get my body moving. All right, go ahead and bring those knees to your chest for big hugs, stretching those glutes before we work them real hard today. All right. Go ahead and bring those heels towards your butt, stretching those glute muscles. Great work, everyone. Make sure you're getting a good stretch, reaching out for balance if you need a little extra balance. I know I do. And we'll take it to a jog, warming up those legs. Feeling your breath start to get a little faster. Great work for some high knees. Squeezing those abs as you bring your knees up. Shoulders back, chest out. Pumping those arms. Warming up those arms too. All right, and for butt kickers. Bring those heels to your bottom. Pumping those arms. All right. Coming to a stop. Feet just past shoulder width apart. Dropping down for a squat. Knees should be following toes. Chest open and up. Great work. Take some nice deep breaths. Warming up those quads and those glutes. And three more. Three. All right, stepping forward. Lowering ourselves straight down for a lunge. Knees following those toes, not extending past that front toe. Go ahead and add a twist, warming up those abs. Three, two, and one. Out with your right leg now, lowering straight down, maintaining that good form. Knees following toes, but not extending past. Great work. Adding that twist to warm up those abs. All right. Three, two, and one. All right. We'll add a few side steps in here. Opening up those pecs with some chain breakers. Nice and slow. Some nice deep breaths here. You're working hard already, I can tell. <laughs> I know I am. You should feel a stretch in your chest as you bring your arms back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. We're gonna to be doing lots of planking today, so 
So we want to make sure our chests are ready as we move into push-ups, up and down planks. Get ready. And three, two, and one. All right. Nice to reach up towards the sky. Folding forward, stretching out those hamstrings. Whew. And bringing it back up. As you come down this time, we're gonna walk out to plank. Great work. Doing that inchworm out there, maintaining our shoulders over our wrists. You can drop down your knees for a push up and back out to plank. Walking our hands back in towards our feet, coming up for a nice stretch. Ooh. And back down for another inchworm. Maybe this time as you do your push-up, keep your knees off the ground. Great work. Keeping that spine nice and neutral as we're in plank and as we do our push-up. Arms should be at about a 45 degree angle to um, your trunk as you lower down into that push-up. Keeping those shoulders away from your ears as best you can. And down for another inchworm and push-up. Ready for two more. We're warming up those core muscles, those shoulders, our chest. <sighs> and getting a nice big stretch at the top. Great work. And one more. Walking out. Lowering for push up. And back in. All right. Just gonna do some shoulder presses here with some side steps. Make sure those shoulders are nice and warm. And we're just about ready to get into the body of our workout. All right. All right, so our first circuit is going to be curtsy lunges, a marching plank, and a long jump with a back pedal for a little cardio. So to begin, our curtsy lunge is gonna be a step back just breaking the plane of that front leg, lowering straight down. Our knees should be following those toes in front. And we're gonna do it on both sides. All right, let's get the timer started. And go. This is 30 seconds of curtsy lunges. As you come up from those curtsy lunges, if you'd like a bit more of a challenge, you can isolate those abductors with a leg raise. All right, we are halfway through this first 30 seconds. Keep up that hard work. All right, and that's it. Here's your 10 second break. We'll be starting with a marching plank next in three, two, and one. Lowering into that up plank. We'll be raising our legs, isolating those glutes. Great work. Make sure you're maintaining that neutral spine, squeezing those glutes and those abs, keeping shoulders over wrists. All right, and up for the 10 seconds of rest. Next, we'll be doing a long jump with a back pedal. In three, two, one. Jumping forward, keeping that chest up, and running back. You can increase your speed for a little bit more intensity. If today doesn't feel like a jumping day for you, that's okay, go ahead and give a step, and a squat with the back pedal. Step and squat, back pedal, or that jump with a back pedal. Great work. And that's a first time through our first circuit. Just two more times and then we're done. Moving back to those curtsy lunges. Make sure our chests stay up and our front knees are following the point of our toes, not breaking the plane of our toes. 
but staying behind. Whew. Adding those leg raises to isolate those abductors. Looking good. <laughs> And done. Perfect, back to that marching plank. You should feel this one in your lower back and your glutes. In three, two, and one. If you'd like more of a challenge, go ahead and raise the opposite arm of the leg. Whew, you're raising. That one's tricky, guys. Requires a lot of balance. Try and keep those hips parallel to the mat. On the stick, but just the leg raises. Whew. And done. Awesome work. All right, back to that long jumping back pedal. In three, two, and one. Whew. Making sure those knees follow those toes as we jump forward. Pick up the pace if you're feeling like you'd like a little bit more cardio. Again, if it's not a jumping day for you, that step and squat. Keeping our chest up and open and our knees following our toes. Whew. With a back pedal. And that's it. All right, one more time and then we're done with this circuit. In three, two, and one. Back to those curtsy lunges. All right. Should be feeling this one in your glutes, your quads, and your adductors, which is the inside of your thigh. Isolating those abductors with the leg raise at the top. Whew. Great work, everyone. Double check that you're maintaining good form throughout. And done with curtsy lunges for the day. Awesome. Back to those marching planks. In three, two, and one. If you've been counting your reps, try to beat them. Maybe you got five leg raises on each leg last time. Let's try to get six or seven this time. Make sure you're challenging yourself. Also listening to your body. Whew. Shoulders over wrists, abs engaged. Great work. All right, that's it for the first circuit. Great work everyone, grab a drink of water. We're gonna get about five extra seconds of rest here. Our next circuit is lunges and jumping jacks. So we're having a bit of a leg day to begin with, and that's awesome. All right, we're gonna start the timer, starting with lunges on your left leg. Three, two, and one. Stepping forward, lowering straight down. Knees should be following the toes, but not extending past. Great work. If you'd like, you can pulse here. And back up. Should you be feeling this in your glutes? In that left glute that you're stepping forward with? One, two, three, back up. Whew. And that's it for the left leg. Next we've got right leg, same form, keeping that chest up, breathing throughout. Three, two, and one. Stepping forward, lowering straight down and back up. Forward, down, and up. You can always pulse here. One, two, three, four, up. And back. One, two, three, four, and up. Whatever you feel comfortable with is what works best. And done. Here's your 10 seconds of rest. Next, we're moving into jumping jacks. In three, two, and one. All right, jumping those legs apart, raising those arms. If today isn't a jumping jack day for you, sidestep, arm raise, sidestep, 
arm raise. Great work. Make sure you're listening to your body. Every workout is gonna look a little bit different for every person. <laughs> For the last five seconds, push, push, push. You got this. And the rest. Awesome, I hope everyone's feeling as great as I do. Thanks for joining me today. And we're back to those left leg lunges. Forward, straight down, and back up. All right. Pulsing, if that's what feels best for you. You can really feel it in your glutes. And back up. And done. 10 seconds rest right here. Grab water if you need it. Make sure you're hydrating throughout. Make sure you're breathing. This is a tough one. Now for those right leg lunges. Stepping forward, straight down. Make sure you're maintaining a good posture. It's hard to remember when you're working your legs. We should be thinking about our upper bodies as well. Chest open, shoulders back, and lowering straight down, making sure those knees don't pass our toes, but still point in the same direction. It's a lot to remember, I know, but I'm here to remind you. Whew. And done. All right, jumping jacks again. If it's not a jumping jack day for you, sidestep and arm raise. And here we go. We're getting our leg work in. We're getting our cardio. What more could you ask for? We're gonna do abs, we're gonna do arms and back. Keep up the hard work. Awesome. We are almost done with this circuit. In. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Ooh, I'm starting to sweat, ladies and gents. One more time. Those left leg lunges. And forward, down, and back. Ooh, lowering straight down. Just some gentle reminders to keep our form looking beautiful throughout. If you feel your form slipping a little bit, take it back to basics. Step forward, down, up, and back. Adding that pulse, if at this point it's really easy to maintain that good form, work a little bit harder, pick up the pace. And done, 10 seconds off right here. We're gonna do our last set of right leg lunges. You got this. I believe in you, let's go. Awesome work. And stepping back, whoa. Chest up, shoulders back. I'm sure everyone looks fantastic right now. If you still have fantastic form, let's add some pulses to really tire those glutes out. Whew. And five, four, three, two, one. Down with lunges for the day. We got one more set of jumping jacks and then we're done with this circuit. All right, so let's power them out. If you've been doing side steps, let's try to kick it up to some jumping jacks. This is your last chance for jumping jacks, everyone. Whew. Breathing through. Nice deep breaths. Try to maintain your speed. If you feel yourself slowing down, that's okay. Just push, push, push. Two, one, done. Go ahead and grab some water. We have about a 15 second break here. Great work, keep it up everyone. Whew. Our third circuit, it's gonna be side planks and mountain climbers. You got this, let's go. We have about seven seconds before we start. Our side planks. We're gonna start on our elbows and push up now. Go ahead, keeping those shoulders and hips stacked. You can reach up, look up, whatever feels best for you. If this is difficult, 
go ahead and put a little kickstand down. If this is easy, go ahead and reach under and up. Whew. That's hard to balance doing that, right? All right, coming back down. Flip to the other side. We're isolating our obliques here. You should be tight on that under part that's closest to the ground. And up, opening up. Just maintaining that stack in your shoulders, that stack in your hips. Sometimes I have to look down and correct myself. You can also be here with that kickstand or up here with the reach. Five more seconds, everyone. Push and push. Done. All right. Great work. We've got some mountain climbers here. That's out in plank position. Bringing knees to chest. Go ahead and run or walk. Butts down, tight glutes. Shoulders over wrists, knees to chest. Whew. Feeling that burn. Abs should be engaged, glutes engaged, shoulders away from ears. Maintaining good form and done. All right, we're almost halfway through our workout. We got five more seconds of rest before we're back in that side plank. And up. I'm sweating, you guys. I'm working hard. I hope you are too. I know it's hard at home with me on a screen instead of in person, but I know you can do it. I know you can challenge yourselves. Coming for that reach. If your obliques aren't burning yet, I encourage you to step it up. If you've been down with a kickstand this next round, let's try and bring it up. All right, 10 seconds of rest. Grab your water if you need it. And we'll get back into a side plank and up. Whew. Reaching under and under. Your obliques should be squeezed. If you hit them, it should be like hitting a brick wall. You got this. 10 seconds left. Everyone, I know you're looking strong. I can't see it, but I know you are. In three, two, and one. Great work. Ready for some more mountain climbers? These are tough ones, so push yourself. It's gonna take a lot of intestinal fortitude. I know you got it. Whew. 30 seconds. Let's go right here. Check your form, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, belly buttons towards your spine, shoulders over wrists. Power out those last 10 seconds. Done. All right. Grab some water if you need it. Let's go. Last left side, side plank, and up. This is your last chance. If you've been down here, let's try and step it up and get those legs out. <sighs> Maintaining a good alignment with your mat. Shoulders stacked, hips stacked. Your elbow should be under your shoulder. And five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right, one more side plank. Let's push. We got this. And up. If you've been here for most of the side planks, try to get to here. This is your last chance. Makes balance a little bit more tricky. That's because more muscles are engaged, right? And five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, last side plank. Now for our last set of mountain climbers.
fingers. If you've been walking them, let's try and run them together. And go. 30 seconds right here. Good form. Glutes squeezed, abs squeeze. Shoulders over wrists. Power it out, ladies and gentlemen. Power it out. I can feel my abs burning. If this is easy for you, make it faster. And done. All right. That was the end of circuit three. We have two more to go. Let's make them count. Oh, I'm sweating. I hope you are too. I hope everyone's working super hard and cheering each other on. We've got about 15 seconds more of rest. Our next circuit, circuit four, is going to be a plank variation, some supermans to work our back, and suicides down the length of your mat, which is a shuffle and a touch the ground, and I will show you. All right, our last seven, eight seconds, grab some water, get ready, stay tough. Let's do this. All right, in this up plank right here, glutes, abs, squeeze, shoulders over wrists. If you're feeling strong, let's lower it down to the lower plank and back up. We're working our arms, we're working our shoulders, we're working our abs. I can't need mus one muscle this doesn't hit. <laughs> and lowering it down, keeping those hips as parallel to the mat as possible. Done. What did I get, like three or four reps? I'm gonna double it next time. All right, now for some supermans. Join me, we're on our stomachs. Hands out, raising up. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Glutes, you should feel this in your back, your shoulders. <sighs> Adding that, I don't know what you wanna call it, that swim stroke to really hit those shoulders. All right, done. That's a tough one. I know you've got it in you though. <sighs> Suicide's next. All right, shuffle, shuffle, squat and touch the ground. Shuffle, shuffle, squat to the ground. Keeping those chests open as you go down. If you can't quite touch the ground, that's okay. As long as we're keeping that chest up, knees should be following our toes. Great work. I'm breathing hard. I hope you are too. This is gonna be a good workout. My mat's moving. And done. Awesome work, everyone. We have two more of those to go, but I think we've got it in us. All right, back to that up-down plank. Starting up and moving down. If you're more comfortable right here, stay here. If you're more comfortable right here, that's awesome too. Dropping your knees. If this doesn't feel quite right, that's okay, listen to your body. The workout's gonna look different for everyone, okay? If you're still sweating, I'm happy, okay? It means you're working hard and done with that. Back to Superman's in five seconds. Deep breaths before we start again. And go. All right, up, pushing out if you want to. suicides up and down the length of your mat. You got this. If you're not sweating yet, if these aren't a challenge to you, go ahead and add a jump and pick up the pace. If they're just a step squat, that's awesome too. You're still working all those important muscles in your legs and building that endurance. Keeping it up, 
for those last five seconds of power. Two and one. Great work. This is our last time through this circuit. So let's make a count. Let's try and double our reps. Not double, improve them by two. But let's go. If this is still feeling easy, check that form. Are your hips parallel to the mat? Or are they rocking like this? They shouldn't be rocking. Done. Great work. So that's a tough one, everyone. I'm proud of you for making it through. We've got Supermans next. Our last set of Supermans for the day. Let's power them out, make them count. Just stand right here. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Taking some deep breaths. And done, great work. All right, this is our last chunk of cardio for the day. So let's kill it. Down, touch, and back. If you've been doing this side step and squat, that's awesome. Let's try and take it up to that shuffle. If you've been doing this shuffle, let's take it up a notch, add that jump, and pick up the pace. And done, great work everyone. Whew. Let's enjoy this bit of rest before we really isolate those chest muscles and our abs for some push-ups and sit-ups. Great work everyone. All right, this is our last circuit, so let's make it a good one. We're doing push-ups, we're doing leg raises, and we're doing some crunches. So, we've got five seconds before we start on some push-ups. Here in plank, knees on the ground to start if you'd like, going down for a push-up. Our chest should reach about a fist height above the mat, glutes should be squeezed, belly buttons towards spine, Keeping that neutral spine. If this is easy for you, let's make it a little bit more difficult. Coming up to our toes. If this is a challenge right here, let's stay right there. Awesome. That's our first set of push-ups done. Easy as that. Next, we've got some leg raises. In three, two, one. Starting here, fingers under buns. Lifting straight up, keeping that back flush to the mat. There shouldn't be a space under here. It should be flat. Pulling those belly buttons in towards our spine. You should feel this in your lower abs. That feels great. My abs are burning already. If you'd like more of a challenge, raise your shoulders. And done. All right. Now we've got some crunches to isolate those upper abs. And let's get started. Feet on the ground or up, whatever feels best for you. Hands behind heads. Crunching up with our abs. We shouldn't be lifting like this. We should be gently rising. Keeping those elbows back. Let's not cradle our heads. Let's gently support them. There should be space for an apple between your chin and your chest. And done. Great work, everyone. Back to push-ups. I know these are not my strong suit, but we'll do them together and we'll get through them. All right, if you were on your knees last time, let's challenge ourselves up on our hand, or up on our toes. <laughs> Checking that form. Shoulders over wrists, bellies and glutes tight, lowering down. Whew. Main 
maintaining that 45 degree angle as you lower down. If you were underneath me, you'd see this. Great work. I can put one more in there and done. All right, back to some leg raises in three, two, and one. If you still need more of a challenge and you've raised your shoulders and head, you can bring your arms back. If this is tough on your lower back, go ahead and put those hands back beneath your buns and raise from here. Do what feels best for you. I'm here to challenge you, but not hurt you. Done. All right, back to crunches. In five, four, three, two, and one. You should feel this right underneath your sternum, those upper abs. If you don't feel it, double check that you're lifting those shoulder blades off the ground, not just your head. <laughs> You've got seven seconds left. Done. All right, back to push-ups for one more time. Let's power through it together. If you've been on your knees, let's come up to your toes. We got this. All right, picking up the pace if that's challenging for you. Keeping those shoulders away from our ears. Great work keeping our glutes and our abs engaged, pushing through our chest. 10 seconds left. Let's try and knock out some on our toes if you haven't already. Ooh, that's tricky. And one more. Oh, wow. Great last set of push ups. My chest is on fire. Let's knock out some more abs and then we're done. Those leg raises, keeping them nice and strong. Legs as straight as possible. Keeping those hands under our bottoms and our spine flush against the mat. This is your last chance to challenge yourself with leg raises. Let's raise those shoulders and heads off the ground. Done. All right, all we have are crunches left. Legs up here or here, whatever is most comfortable for you. Spine flush to the mat and elbows back. Let's go. If you've got 10 last, last time, let's try to get 13 if you were counting. Keeping that apple between your chin and chest and elbows back. Shoulder blades should be coming off the mat. And done. Great work, everyone. My abs are burning. I hope yours are too. We got a great workout in today. Let's cool it down. All right. And let's sidestep it out. Catching our breath. We've been working pretty hard today. We need a chance to regroup. I know it's hard to work out at home, at least it is for me. So thanks for joining me. I had fun leading this workout. I hope you had fun partaking. And let's bring those knees up to our chests for some hugs. Stretching those glutes. We worked those glutes at the beginning of the workout and throughout our planks. Taking your time to get a nice stretch. And three, two, whew, and one. All right, bringing those heels to your bottoms, getting a nice stretch through your glutes, cooling it down, taking some nice deep breaths down that pace. Whoa! Holding on to something if you need a little 
flexor balance like I do. <laughs> and hold it here for 10. And five, four, three, two, one. Other side for 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake out those legs. Reaching up, stretching that spine. Ooh, that feels good. And folding forward. Feel that in your hamstrings. Bend your knees if you need to. So you can rest your hands on your thighs, on your shins, or just hang. Shake that head. Yes, no. No, yes. <laughs> As you exhale, release deeper into that fold for 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. Back up, opening up that chest, shoulders back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Oh, I needed that after all those push-ups. Bringing your right arm across and stretching, holding it there nice and tight. Exhaling the tension in your shoulders and switch. Nice deep breaths. We're cooling it down. All right, and reaching up again, folding over forward and stepping back into that downward dog. Ooh, pushing those shoulders towards your feet and walking those heels. I'll turn sideways so you can see it. Stretching those calves. Push those shoulders back towards your toes. If you need a little bend in those knees, that's okay. Whew. And step that right leg forward into runner's lunge. Resting that left knee on the ground, you can stay here or come up for a nice stretch in your hip flexor. That feels good, I needed that. Holding for 10. Reaching up for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands on the ground, stepping that right leg back, bringing that left leg forward, either staying here planted or up. Feeling that stretch in your right hip flexor. It'll get really tight. Let's stretch it out for 10. Some nice deep breaths. Reaching up for five, four, three, two, and one. Stepping back and to upward facing dog. Woo, stretching out those abs that we worked so hard today. And pressing it back to child's pose, opening up those hips. Hold it here for a minute, breathing deeply. And back again, stretch those abs. Oh, that feels good. Hopefully your heart, rate, heart rates have been brought back down to about normal. And I hope you got a great workout in today. I'm so proud of you for pushing yourselves, for being here with me today and getting some, some exercise in. I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you at Yates, hopefully this fall.